In this video, I want to do something a little different, and that is to show you how I do some basic video and audio editing before I get into the meat of editing within Camtasia. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the last video that I recorded and show you how I would start editing that video. To start, I want to edit down the camera video. And to do that, I'm going to use TimeBolt. Now, if you remember, I talked about TimeBolt in a previous video. I have a link to it in the description if you want to find out how to edit videos quickly. So we'll start by editing out all the mistakes and then we'll edit the audio after that. So I'll start by opening TimeBolt. I'll find my MP4 video file and I'll just drag it into TimeBolt. And then TimeBolt will load that. I'll expand that to go full screen. And then what it does is it finds the dead air and takes it out. So I'm gonna play back my video at 2X and you can see this dead air at the beginning and then there are other places where there's dead air. It'll just automatically cut those out. Now there are other places in here where there's a mistake. I'm guessing this is a mistake. And so what I can do is just click that to remove that mistake. So this helps me to edit things a whole lot faster. Again, for a detailed video on how I do this, check out the TimeBolt video in the description below. Now you don't have to sit here and watch me edit this, but I'll just fast forward through this and get to the end product. Now that I have that edited down, what I want to do is pull that into Camtasia and just get the audio from it. I'm going to edit it in Audacity. Now I can drag the video file directly into Audacity, but I found that when I do that, there's a little bit of a syncing issue where things get a little bit out of sync. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it into Camtasia first, then export the audio only from there, and then edit it inside Audacity. So we can close TimeBolt, and you can see that TimeBolt created a filtered file. Now you can see that that's about six minutes compared to the 14 minutes that I recorded. So I'm gonna open Camtasia, and I'm just gonna drag that filtered file into Camtasia. By default, Camtasia adds auto normalize. So what I'm gonna do is just uncheck it for this track, and then I'm gonna to go to export, and I'm going to export audio only. I wanna make sure that it's a WAV file, and it is, and then I want it to go into my project folder. So I'll send it to that folder, and then I'll put the video number along with audio only. Click save, and in a few seconds, it's done rendering the audio only. Next, I open Audacity, and then I'm gonna drag that audio only file into Audacity. The first thing I wanna do is apply the de tool. There's a video in the description to learn more about how to add the de tool to Audacity. It's not there by default. But what I'll do to start is I'll do a control A to select all the audio. Then I'll go to effect and I will add the de -esser. These are the settings that I prefer. And so I'll just click OK. And it'll take a few seconds to render out and apply this effect. Now that it's done, the other effect I like to add is a bass boost. So I'll just go to bass and treble. And I like to add a five decibel bass boost to this. And I'll click apply and that's done in a fraction of a second. Now that I'm done with the audio editing of this, I want to export it. So we'll go to file export and I want to export it as a wave. I'll go to my project folder and for the name I will add deest. Now I don't know if that's a real word or not but that's how I refer to it. So I'll hit enter to save it. I don't need to add any of these tags. I'll just click OK and then I can close out of Audacity. Back inside Camtasia what I'll do is I will grab that deest file and I will drag it to the timeline. I'll swap these two tracks so that I have audio at the bottom and when I drag this all the way to the left it should perfectly align with the audio that I have in this video. Now to check it, what I like to do is just go to the end, zoom in as far as I can, and make sure that those are aligned. And everything looks to be perfectly aligned, so I'll accept that, and then I'll just zoom out to see the entire project. Now I don't need this audio twice, so I'll select the first file here that has the audio that isn't edited, and I'll just drag that gain all the way down to zero. So now when I play through this, I have my audio that has been de and has that bass boost. The last thing I like to do for audio is I will go to my audio effects and I created one called Studio Compression. I'm gonna drag it down and apply it. And then that's usually exactly where I want it to be. So the values that work for me are a ratio of five, a threshold of minus 10 and a gain of eight. And if you look here at the bottom, I make sure that none of those peaks are touching the top of the track because in that case, we're losing part of the audio signal. But you can see they're just about as close to the top of that track as possible. So I hope this has been a helpful video to see behind the scenes. For more tips like this, be sure to check out the other videos on this channel, subscribe, and you can check out cammastery.com where there are other resources and training for you to learn more about Camtasia. I'm Ron Hoke, thanks for watching.